Uh, talk about playoffs and uh, expectations for the team with the upcoming playoffs. You know, we're excited. We've had great practices this week. Um, you know, it's really about playing well now. So I think that's the fun thing. It doesn't matter what you have done at this point. You just got to play well for a weekend. They say that playoffs, everybody starts to have a new, everything starts to new. So just talk about that a little bit. Like, is that something maybe you could tell to the girls? Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, Right, a new beginning. It is. It's a new season. It's um, We have a chance to make history. No team in on women's basketball side has played in the semifinals. So we win one, we're in a semifinal. It's, a, you know, the luck of the draw there. So, you know, and then the rest, I said earlier today, you know, it's kind of like house money because we're playing Delaware, a team that we're not afraid to play, that we match up well with, even though they have the third best player in the nation. But, you know, we kind of, we really get motivated to play them. I think that we learned a lot. We just played them less than a week ago. Uh, we know what they're going to do, what they're going to bring to the table, and we've got to defend. We've got to defend, and then we got to, I mean, obviously make the shots that they, they provide for us. And uh, But I think the defensive end of the ball game is what's going to make a difference in that game. Uh, who, who, I know with your seniors, but are you looking for anybody else to maybe step up and maybe help to lead the team? Yeah, you know what? I'm really looking to the upperclassmen right now. I mean, you, you hear all across the country right now during March Madness is that your upperclassmen and your seniors are the ones that are really carrying the load and whatever you get from your freshmen is kind of like gravy. So, uh, you know, Annie Payton has stepped up this week. You know, um, Anma Yuku needs to have a great week. I think she's our X factor in the tournament. Um, so these are people that we're really looking forward to, uh, you know, kind of push us to the next level. Uh, heading into the playoffs, uh, chat a little bit about what your expectations are with the, uh, the tournament. Uh, expectations are very high. You know, we're coming in off um, a loss from Northeastern, and we have a good chance to get back at them coming on Friday. Um, we've been very focused. We've had a really good practice. Everyone's, you know, hitting shots, you know, going hard, making each other better. Aside from yourself and your fellow uh, upperclassmen, who are you expecting to step up uh, in the tournament? Um, actually, I expect everyone to step up, whoever steps on the floor. You know, this is uh, the time that we worked hard from preseason to summertime. This is all we work for. Now, they say with the playoffs, it's a new start for the team. Mm -hmm. is, is that something that maybe you and your teammates could take the, with the upcoming tournament? Uh, yeah, this is like, you know, every every my, all four years I've been here, you know, we always say it's our third season coming in. You know, we had our non-conference, had conference analysis time, the championship games. Now, Northeastern, your first test in the tournament, uh, just give a little bit about what they bring to the table. And um, they somewhat like run an offense like ours, so that's a kind of advantage going into the game. Um, we played them twice already, so that's definitely an advantage. We played them like last week, so that's definitely coming in. We're coming in high, and we know each player, we know what like to do, so that's definitely an advantage coming in. Now, uh, you know, it's on the road, so is there like any difference with that, or is it since it's a neutral site, isn't that going to be that... Um, no, it's neutral site. You know, we only play there once. You know, only the returners who really came from like all the teams know how to play on that court. So it's not a advantage at all for anyone. And what 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 are you looking forward to seeing with your teammates with the tournament? Are you hoping that you know they could all execute and everything? And uh, yeah, us you just execute as a team, play together as a team. You know, everyone's stepping up, and you know uh, it'll come out turn out good for us. Well, great. Thank you very much for your time, and good luck in the tournament. Thank you. Appreciate it. Chat a little bit about the upcoming playoffs. Uh, you have Northeastern coming up first. What do you are uh, what are you expecting from them? Uh, uh, I mean, everything we work for this season is all. Um, it's going to show. You know, this weekend it's all. It's all. That's what it's all for. Um, we played Northeastern well last week. Um, Unfortunately, we lost to him, but we know we, what we have to do. We've been working hard these past couple of days, and we'll continue working hard up until Friday to prepare for them. So hopefully, you know, we get the positive outcome that we're looking for. Now, you're a senior now, so your experience will help some of the younger girls in the playoffs. Uh, is there anything maybe that you're telling to some of the younger, uh, your younger teammates as to what to expect? Yeah, I mean, the most important thing with the, with the freshmen, especially since it's five of them, is just keeping them confident and being positive and showing them that I'm confident because if I go in there nervous, then it's going to be easy for them to be nervous. But if they can look at me as their senior, one of their, you know, captains, and see that I'm confident and ready to go and going hard every day in practice, then it's easy for them to jump in the bag wagon. And it's good because a lot of the freshmen the past couple of days have been going hard, especially um, Deanna Thomas Palmer and Sid, um, Sydney Epps. Um, they've been going really hard in practice the last couple of days, so that helps me build my confidence knowing that they're ready, and I guess my confidence helps them, so we're helping each other out. Now, reflect about the playoffs. They always say that it's a new beginning for all of the teams, so is that something that maybe 
you think will help you and your teammates entering into the I mean, yeah, it definitely is. Playoffs. It definitely is. Seeing as though everybody goes to the playoffs, it's not like volleyball where, you know, everybody doesn't make it. So everybody has a chance. Everybody has the same chance. And no matter what our season was, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because anybody can win any given day, you know. So as long as we come out and play as hard as we can, forget about the losses that we had and the wins don't matter. None of that really matters until, you know, the 0-0 on the clock in the championship game, you know. What are you expecting from Northeastern? They're going to be a pretty tough opponent, right? Um, yeah, they're gonna be a pretty tough opponent. Um, the last two play, the last two times we met, um, they came out with the win. I feel like they're gonna come and go hard, just like they have the past two times. Um, it's just our job to, you know, learn from the two mistakes that we made and come out and beat a better team. Yeah. Into the playoffs, uh, what are some of your expectations for the upcoming tournament? Um, I'm expecting a, a big, big breakout from us. Uh, you know, we've been working pretty hard for this, uh, the past couple of practices. Uh, making sure we're focused, and um, I'm just looking forward to it. Now, aside from yourself and the upperclassmen, who are you expecting to step up with the tournament? Honestly, everybody. Um, everybody's shown some type of intensity at one point or another during the past couple of practices. So whether it's a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, somebody's going to break out. And honestly, I think it could be everybody on the bench. So. Now, they say that um, the playoffs is a completely new tournament. You know, everybody starts off with a clean slate. Is that something that maybe you and your teammates will bring to the upcoming tournament? It's definitely different. Um, you know, going to non-conference, you just you get ready for conference. Going to conference, you get ready for the playoffs. And in the playoffs, everybody comes out hard and comes out swinging. So it's definitely a, a new time. It's just a new type of intensity and a new type of feeling. So, yeah, I would say it's a new, uh, new season. Now, what are you expecting from Northeastern? They're a pretty tough opponent, right? Well, they've played us hard the last two times we played them, but um, I'm, I'm expecting them to come out just with that. But, uh, you know, coming up those last two losses from them, you know, we're going to come out hard, and we've been focused and trying to make sure that we're paying attention to every detail from the last two games. So I expect us to play pretty hard against them. I was just about to ask you that. You and your teammates are about to make some major adjustments, right? Do you feel with uh, facing them again with the playoffs? Yes, uh, we've gone over a lot of stuff, make sure we talked about everything that we've all the mistakes, all the good things we did, and um, just trying to capitalize on this next game. Entering into the playoffs this weekend, uh, chat a little bit about what you're expecting from it. Um, we know it's going to be a lot more physical. Everybody's going to hit a lot harder than what they did in normal season in non-conference. So we're expecting it to be a lot more physical, um, less calls. The refs are going to let us play a little more. Um, they have a no tolerance rule when it comes to yelling back, and we're going to be a lot more disciplined than what we were during the season. Now talk about Northeastern a little bit and about what you're expecting from them with the playoffs. Um, we're expecting them to, you know, go with their same game plan of their tandem that works really well against us. Um, it's not so much zone, it's not so much man, it's like a little in between. So we're expecting them to do that, um, crash the boards really hard because that's one thing we struggle with and we're expecting them to push the tempo because they feel like we can't get back in transition. So we're expecting them to run our pace, but a little faster. I talk about your team. This is now your sophomore year. What have you learned about yourself and your team, you know, with entering into the playoffs this weekend? Um, what I've learned, um, these girls can fight. They have a lot of heart, a lot of passion for the game. When it comes to tournament time, we know it's one and done, and we really don't want to be done. So I learned that my team does have a lot of passion for the game, and they do want to play, and we do want to be the first in Hofstra history to get a CAA championship. Now, what have you been seeing from your teammates this week? Who are you expecting to see uh, lead the team with the tournament? Well, of course, we have Shante Evans, who's a uh, key to our success. Uh, we also have Annie Payton, who is stepping up to be our three-point shooter. We have five phenomenal freshmen that are practicing hard every day and playing and making us better also. Um, Candace Bond, tremendous defensive player. Also, she's bringing a lot of offense to the table lately. So I'm expecting a lot of them. Also, AO, you know, she could jump out of the gym, rebounds, phenomenal. She high contested shots, whatever she's putting in the basket. So I expect a lot of those girls and those players and the freshman Asia Jackson, I know she's going to do great. She's going to handle the pressure. Now talk about your game a little bit because you've been able to bring to the team a lot during the course of the year. So talk about what you think you'll be able to contribute now with the coming playoffs. Well, I know I can pass the ball and I know that I could break presses and I know I can defend. So I also know I'm a scoring point guard. So. 
it's really I'm not going to do too much to force anything, but I'm going to do just enough for my team to get a win. And that's all I'm focused on.